And I, I, I really don't want to, um, you know, downplay the relief that a lot of young women do experience on the pill. I don't think that, you know, it's right to, to poo poo that um, because there are some girls who don't have, um, you know, the knowledge that there is something better and they do go on the pill and all of a sudden they have their life back. They can go to class again without doubling over in pain, without, you know, bleeding excessively through all their clothing. And the, it, it, it's no small thing to them that they can, you know, get their life back when they get on the pill. But even if they do experience some relief in that way, it's doing, you know, other uh, other damage in other areas of their health, you know, getting back to where we first started, where, you know, she's not ovulating. She needs to ovulate for her mental health. She needs to ovulate for her bone health. And yes, it's it's good that her painful periods have been taken care of, but we're kicking the can down the line and we're doing damage in the process. And so that's just where it really is this Band-Aid solution and women and girls deserve better. And that's our underlying message at Natural Womanhood is we believe you deserve better. Don't accept anything less than what you deserve. Yeah, it's almost like someone who has a headache every day of the week and you're just loading them up on Tylenol seven days a week. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's kind of symptom management as yeah. opposed to authentic health care, which is dis- tr- treatment of an actual disease instead of just snipping at the symptoms and thinking, oh, there it goes away. Because, you know, like Gerard was talking about, some of these issues, you know, they make the girls think that, oh, well, just go on this. And then when you're ready to have a baby, you go off and then the baby comes. And especially things like Depo Provera, I mean, studies are bulletproof showing, look, fertility is not coming back in the window of time that these women were kind of just expected. To, okay, well, we'll get off the shop, you know, and then, you know, within a month or two, then the baby's going to come. And they're like, wait a minute, it's been 18 months and we're still trying. Why isn't my fertility flipping back on like a light switch when we flipped it off with these synthetic hormones? But another, another big thing, we talk about, you know, being off the pill. The other side I, I want to emphasize too for young women, and, and we talk a lot about that on our website because I, we, we really believe that, is that young women need to be taught to chart their cycle, right? So, so what are we talking about that? We're not talking about teaching natural family planning to young women or teenagers, right? We're talking about helping young women to know the, the what we call the vital sign, the, the fifth vital sign, right? What is happening with their body what, you know, when she ovulates, by tracking that, there are a myriad of benefits. First of all, she's going to learn about her body. And, and that is a huge confidence booster for a young woman to understand like, okay, wait, I, I understand what's happening. It's not just about the period, right? There's something very positive that's happening. It's, it's my fertility. It's at work. And so that is very empowering. And studies have shown that you know, young women who are taught, and there's a great organization called Teen Star, for example, that's done tons of work for the past uh, 30 years at least, to uh, to teach young women in that way, and and it shows that you know they gain confidence. Uh, they're 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 more likely to say no, uh, especially no to sexual you know, advances. Uh, they're they are um, you know aware of their fertility, and and you know if if a young woman is understanding better you know her the meaning of her fertility, right? So there's a an idea of empowerment, or the idea of a sense of purpose, right? I'm not. It's not just about sex, it's not just about periods, there's something more there. It's huge, right? Mentally, it's, it's, a, it's a big, big deal. So we really believe that, you know, young women, and, and we have, you know, we refer to organizations that do that, but young women, if they can learn to chart, again, to just to know their body, I think it's a big, big advantage that they can have. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message, and there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day, and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at patreon.com slash Jason Everett. That helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless.